Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video we're going to be going over a BMX pre-ride checklist. So to be totally honest, I was fresh out of ideas for this week's Tuesday tip until I asked my friend Montana Ricky and immediately he called me with the idea to go over this checklist for you guys. He calls it his BMX quick fix. Basically what this is and the entire point behind this is a pre-ride checklist that goes over every necessary thing on your bike in under a minute he claims so that you can find any issues or problems and fix them before you ride and fix them before you're out riding street or at the skate park and away from your tools and basically save you a whole bunch of time, energy, and frustration by finding things before you go out riding rather than while you're out riding and potentially don't have access to the things necessary to fix these problems. So first we're gonna go through this entire list and everything that you need to check and then we're gonna do it and see if we can actually get this done in under one minute like Montana Ricky claims that we can. So the first thing that we're going to do is grab the bike, flip it upside down and move to the back wheel and grab whatever method you use for tightening your back wheel. I recommend Park Tool MQ1 because this thing is sick. And what you're gonna to wanna to do here is make sure that whether it's a male or female axle, that it's both tight and centered in the frame. Once you're done with that, you wanna check your spoke tension and your tire pressure. And from there, we're gonna move just a little bit more forward, check our chain tension, which can be part of centering the wheel in the frame and tightening it because obviously those things affect chain tension. From there, we're gonna move a little bit more forward and we're gonna grab our Allen wrenches. And we're going to check one, our crank bolts, two, our pedals, and three, our sprocket bolts if we have them because these are things that kind of go overlooked, especially the sprocket bolt. And these are places where if you lose any of these parts or anything goes super wrong here, you might be out of luck for the day. So you definitely wanna check these things. And from there, we can set the Allens aside and grab whatever tool we need to tighten our front wheel because the front wheel is next. We wanna make sure that the front wheel is tight and centered in the fork, as well as check the spoke tension and tire pressure of the front wheel. From there, we're done with the bike upside down so we can flip it back over and actually sit on the seat First thing we wanna check while we're sitting on it is the headset, make sure it's not loose. This is super easy to do while sitting on the bike. Then once the headset's checked, we wanna grab our Allens again, check all six of our stem bolts and make sure those are tight. And while you're there, you might as well take a look and make sure that your front end is aligned properly and that your stem is centered with your frame and your tire and that your bars are aligned the way that you want them to be forward and backwards. From there, we're gonna jump off the seat and we're gonna make sure that the seat post is tight with the seat post clamp and that our seat pivotal or tripod bolts are tight. And that's it for the main part of the checklist, but there's two other things that I wanna mention here real quick. The first of those is that if you have brakes, you might as well clean off your back rim while you're messing with everything on the rear end of the bike. And secondly, if you have plastic pegs or just in general having pegs or hub guards, you wanna make sure while you're messing with everything on here that you rotate your peg sleeves or rotate your pegs or your hub guards if you need to. It's definitely something that you want to pay attention to and breaking a hub guard while you're out riding definitely might put a damper on your day. So now that we're done talking about this checklist and going over everything, let's actually try this and see if we can do it in under a minute. So we're gonna get a timer on the screen right now and it's gonna start. Basically, let's start it as soon as I get the bike upside down. I've got my notes here just so I know everything to check and uh, here we go. Got my MQ1. Got my AWS 11, and let's do this. Time starts now. Okay, first things first, we're checking back wheel. Make sure that it's tight. Back wheel's tight there. Tight there, good. Spokes. Spokes feel all good. Tire pressure. Not too shabby. Chain tension, not bad. Flip it, cranks still spin. Grab the Allens, check the crank bolt on one side. Good, check this crank bolt. 
good, that actually needed tightened. Check the pedals, mine uses six, so you don't need a pedal wrench. I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, keep in mind, whenever you're doing this, you're, oh, geez. No, we're good, we're good. I thought I was out of frame. Keep in mind when you're doing this that your pedals tighten the same way and loosen the same way. We're moving back up here just to make this easier. Oh, here we go. Checking the front wheel. Tight. Oh, I'm losing time. I'm losing time. Oh, geez. There it is. That actually needed tighten, so I'm glad that I checked that. Here we go. I got one broken spoke. I have two. I need to change some spokes. I didn't know that this many were broken. Holy cow. This wheel is bad. You can tell I don't do my pre-ride checklist. Everything's good there though. Boom. Sit on the bike. Check the headset. Turn the bars. Wiggle forward and back. We're good. Boom. Okay, this has definitely been more than a minute. But I also ran into issues. And that's one thing that you can assume is going to make it take longer than a minute if you actually run into something. And that's kind of the whole point of this because if you run into issues while you're checking it before you're riding, you're gonna be really pumped because you fixed those issues before you were actually out riding. All of this is good. Checking the seat. This is going to be either a four or five, depending upon what type of seat post clamp you have. Tight, tight, golden. Check the brakes. Brake pull is good. Wheel doesn't wiggle here. Doesn't wiggle there. Cranks flip. Pegs and hub guards don't need rotated. And that is the checklist. So I probably didn't beat a minute on this one. I probably didn't even get close, but uh, we tried. So Ricky, when you see this, you might be right, but not for me. <laughs> and with that, that's gonna be the end of this one. If you guys find this useful, let me know in the comments down below. Thank Ricky for giving me this idea and uh, letting me share it with you guys. And if you like these tips and tricks videos, I've got tons more and there's gonna be a playlist that pops up on the screen somewhere about where my face is for you to watch more if you want to. And just making it to the end of this video and clicking on one of those playlists or videos helps me out a ton, so thank you for that. Also hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I wanna thank you guys for spending your time watching this video, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Thanks again and goodbye.